Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to Airport CEO. This is episode three. We've got ourselves a little bit of a GA uh, airport on the go. Got ourselves a nice little windsock, and up here we've got a fuel depot. And stupidly, we got a truck all the way down here that's uh, delivering fuel to the different GA aircraft that come and land here. Now, um, in the last episode, I couldn't put any more of these down and that hasn't changed i was hoping that would just was a limitation of the building time but it seems like it just won't let me do it now at all let me just see if i destroy some land there will it let me do it then have to wait and see all right so in this episode we're going to be building uh the airport for uh commercial flights which carry passengers we'll probably leave the ga stuff over here as is and set up a whole new runway up here with new services facilities etc so first things first let's uh click the next button Start the 20 minute timer. It says drag out a terminal foundation at least 20 by 15. 20 by 15. Okay. Oh, hang on. This taught me something there. To delete an object, select it and press control. Aha! That's how you get rid of it. I'm so glad about that. I really am. Awesome. Right. Well, hopefully that'll just work as expected now. So once again, you select it, hold control down, drag out as you normally would. Right. So we're going to need here a terminal. So let's have a look at terminal. Terminal foundation. So the planes are going to land here and all of this is going to be parking. So it's going to be 25 by 15. Right, I'm going to leave a bit of a gap here. Let's go slightly bigger. Let's go 30 by 20. Because it did say the minimum was that. The minimum was that. Right, okay, good job I left a bit of a gap. What do we have to do here? Place at least one bus stop and one car drop-off. Make sure they connect to a public road. Okay, so one bus stop. Huh. Can I just do it like that? I'm just wondering if I should expand the road section out a bit. I think that's probably the best idea. And then we can have a bus stop. There, there. And what was it? A drop off. Let's have, let's have a crosswalk. Car stop. Okay, car stop is there. Insufficient funds. Man, where did all my money go? 
I had 600,000 there a minute ago. That must have cost me 600,000. Wow. Right, well, we're, we're still losing 3,200 an hour. So that's quite a big problem, isn't it? That's quite a big problem. How am I going to get out of that little problem? Well, luckily, I got one of those in before I ran out of cash. Let's get rid of that. That's two and a half thousand back in the kitty. Crikey. Crikey Moses. Okay. No one's using that. Let's get rid of it. Wow. Place some sidewalk from passengers and staff to walk to and from the terminal. Okay. Sidewalk. Open the heat map panel and have a look at where passengers and employees can walk. Uh, where's the heat map panel? Why could people walk there? That's weird. Now we have the basic passenger flow configured and soon the terminal will be buzzing with life. Before that, let's take care of your future staff. Drag out a staff room. So let's put a staff room at the back. that heat map off place a few uh, okay place a few desks in here Okay. There's no doors here. I'm a bit concerned about this. Vending machine, street lights, floodlights, fence, fence gate, windows, doors. Let's go for some large doors. Because we're so short of money now. It's really going to be difficult to uh, to survive, I think. Might as well keep the ridiculous number of employees building stuff, though. Otherwise, none of this is ever going to get done. I suppose, theoretically, I could ditch all of this to save a few quid. Going to be a bit crappy short term. But it does give us a few thousand to work with. Is there any kind of seating? What kind of seating would there be? Yeah, not sure. Not sure how that's going to pan out. Right, we're definitely in trouble here. 10,000 in the kitty. These guys are doing a fantastic job, though. As soon as this is built, I'm just going to get rid of all of them, and we're just going to have to build much, 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 much slower. Moving that isn't going to be an option for a while. This is going to be really tough. All right, so this thing, can I or can I not put a new 
Insufficient funds. Okay, well, that's a new problem. 20 grand, aren't they? It's a bit pricey. Come on, lads, get it done. So I may end up running out of cash before I've even started, which is a bit of a problem. So we're going to have to stick to the runway we've got for now. And I'm going to have to extend the taxiway to allow them to come across this way somehow. Yeah, this is tricky. Right, so the office is pretty much built. Last thing needs to go in. Decorate your terminal by putting in some new floors. Oh, really? Really, really? Why don't I have a wall around this? Whoops. Oh, okay. Staff room is still there. No, still telling me to drag out a staff room. Beautify the terminal with some nice plants. Nice plants it is. Before you can accept commercial airlines and handling its passengers, we need a commercial license. Let's set up office spaces in the staff room for the airport's administrators to work in R&D projects. Oh, gosh. OK, hire at least two administrators. They will work on R&D projects and unlock new objects and systems. So come in here, go to staff, go to applicants. And we want two administrators what's this skill 34 an hour gosh but you're really good so we'll take you on and you're pretty good robert radu okay start the commercial license project in the r d tab where's the r d tab operations r d projects Commercial license. Start the project. Complete the project commercial license by assigning your admins to the project. OK. Done. Yeah, we're going to get there soon, guys. We're going to get there soon. <laughs> That's an enormous terminal for such a small airport. 
Right, so there are buses coming in, but there should be no one getting off. Oh my god, there are. What do you want? Ah, employees. Okay. So these are the administrators coming in to work on the R&D project. Right, let's get rid of these guys. And hopefully once they've gone, our hourly balance will even out a bit. Because 8,600 is not a lot to work with. We're going to really struggle if that's all the cash we've got. How do I take a loan out? So I can get a loan for 600,000, 9% interest, 11 days. That cost me 2,477 an hour. My gosh. Let's hope I don't have to go down that route. We're still losing over $1,000 an hour. Maybe that's a good because I'm still paying these guys, I don't know. Why are half of these guys not over here? It looks like they haven't really figured this bit out yet. It's like the logic only allows you to have one of these, but then if that's the case, why allow us to build more than one of these? That's my issue. One guy, one guy got on this bus. Silly, very silly. Right. Uh, operations, R&D, where are we at? 25%. Okay. Who's the third guy? Oh, me. That's actually me. <laughs> That's very cool. All right, okay. I think we're going to struggle to get all the bits and bobs we need. How has that gone up to 2,200? What has changed in the interim? Get on the damn bus. So irritating. Okay. Allow night flights. Well, I can't. Presumably I can't because I've got no lights. Oh, it looks like he's going. Looks like he's heading off. Okay, that's fine. No problem at all. Not hanging about. I don't know where he's going now, though. He's, he's flown from Durham. Oh, he's just arrived. Oh, I see. I must have missed the last guy. Is he down here still? There he is. So he's going to the East Midlands. Pretty cool, I suppose. Have a safe flight. Oh, we're in profit. We're making 335 an hour. All right. Well, if that... Oh, my God. I was going to say, if that continues, we'll be okay, but... I guess we just paid some wages out, did we? Crikey. How are we getting on? 46%. We're almost there. So this is what we unlock when we get it. Unlocks commercial airline contracts, commercial runways... An aircraft stands. 
a check-in desk, security checkpoint, security exit, boarding desk, information desk, information screen, aircraft hangar, employee types, passenger service agent, security officer, ramp agent, aircraft maintenance technician, CIO, human resources director, procurement director, strategy director, R&D projects also unlock medium aircraft permit, night flights, floor construction permit, extended commercial license, remote stand services, baggage handling, franchise shops, franchise cafes, and emergency response units. There you go. That's what we need. All of that needs to be made available to us so that we can make a bit more cash. So look, guys, it's going to take a little while. So I might wrap this episode up. We're uh, still losing money, but only just. I think we're right on the tip of being in profit. I think we end up in profit for a few moments and then we drop back again. So hopefully with the addition of commercial license, we can uh, get up to, say, 20,000. And if we can get up to 20,000, maybe I can get a few more small aircraft stands in here. And uh, that will unlock our potential to earn some proper money. But, uh, yeah, Ooh. bit of a gamble. I still don't quite know. That's our 20-minute timer. I still don't quite know how or why I can't put... more aircrafts down there must be a limit somewhere who knows anyway thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one take care till then bye for now